Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Nutrisystem. Uh, this is the daily menu. This is number two. This is the one where I go through a whole day in, uh, or a whole day's worth of meals in, uh, in one video. The Nutrisystem, we bought these at Meijer. They were uh, $14.99, so I'll right at $15. And you get three meals and a snack. You get, uh, this particular one comes with uh, there it is, turkey, ham, and cheese omelet for breakfast. A hamburger for lunch, uh, chicken and vegetable stir fry for dinner, and then you get an orange cream bar for your nightly snack. And uh, I don't know what the D means, Nutrisystem D. I, I have, who knows? I don't. I don't do Nutrisystem. I'm just showing you the meal because I thought it was a pretty cool idea that they included a full day's meal in uh, in one box. Um, let me see if there's nothing else on there. Here's your calorie information. So the um, the omelet has 90. The hamburger has 240, the chicken and vegetable stir fry is 250, and the little ice cream bar has 90. So, and there's the other information for those as well. Sodium is really good on all those. Um, cholesterol is not bad. Everything's pretty good. Even the even the protein numbers are pretty decent on those. So you'll stay full, or you'll feel like you're full longer uh, when you get your protein. So you open the boxes up, and you always get a, a sales ad. On the top and then you get a suggested menu um, this one is for women what to eat with it and this is for man this is like the suggested menu because you're not supposed to just eat this you're supposed to add stuff like uh, like for breakfast you're supposed to uh, eat that and then serve with one cup of raspberry and two t tablespoons of walnuts and then the four you're supposed to have a snack in the morning and for lunch you're supposed to have the hamburger but you're also supposed to have um, lettuce and raw vegetables that kind of stuff so you're supposed to add stuff to this so these are not supposed to be your complete meal um, they're just supposed to supplement or these are supposed to be the main part of your meal so here i'm just trying to get them out of the water so this in the bottle. all right so here's the omelet which i'll show you closer in just a second here is the hamburger which is um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not huge but it's, it's like one of those breakfast sandwiches and then you've got the dinner which is the stir fry and then you've got this ice cream bar it's not very big I mean well, it's a decent size I was gonna say it's not very big but it is it's bigger than I thought it was so that's your your snack so I'm actually doing this in the morning this time just the night before so I'm gonna go ahead and get the omelet so this one is the uh, turkey ham and cheese omelet a fluffy omelet filled with turkey ham, reduced fat cheddar cheese, and Swiss cheese. 90 calories, which is not bad at all. High protein. It looks good. I bet you it does not look like that in reality. Yeah, if I had to guess. Okay. Nutrition information. We kind of showed you that already, but there it is. 90 calories. Everything else is pretty good. So where's the directions here? So, uh, for food safety, da -da -da, microwave. So, this package is kind of hard to, hard to hold and read. Okay, so uh, open one end of wrapper, do not remove. Uh, place on a microwave safe plate. Microwave it high for two to two and a half minutes. Let product sit for a minute uh, and then enjoy. So, two to two and a half. I hate to go two and a half because I think it'd be too long. So I'll probably go like two, two ten. I'll try two ten. We'll see how that goes. So um, let's see what it looks like. I don't want to remove it completely, but maybe you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like before I put it in the microwave. There it is. I see lots of egg, but I don't see any filling. Let's see, there's maybe a little bit in there. So anyway, I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave and I just opened the package up, um, just to let you be able to see. I opened this up, oh, I'm kind of kind of sad I did. It looks kind of gross. I guess it's the cheese in there that all liquefied and made it look wet, but um, it looks like somebody threw up in there. But anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, looks pretty gross. So don't open or omelet up, just eat it. Just eat it so the uh, the magic is still real. Um, you don't see behind the curtain. We don't want to see that because that looked gross. So anyway, so I'm gonna let this cool off for just a second and I'll be back. 
All right, it's had a little time to cool off, so here's the vitamin I'm going to take. It has some of that filling in there and um, plenty of bag. The egg is a little chewy. Not bad like rubbery rubbery, but it's just a little, has a little toughness to it. Um, the ham and, and the cheese is okay. I really get more of them. And the backside of the egg was actually really good. The, the fold part, the edges is what I first took a bite of. It was a little bit tough. The backside where the fold is, um, that wasn't bad at all. That was really good and tender egg. Um, I really get a taste of the onion in there. So if you like, um, it tastes like onion at least. I'm assuming it's green stuff. It looked like green onions. Um, that actually tastes pretty decent. And you get a taste of the cheese too. So regardless of what the inside looked like, it actually doesn't taste bad. You have to like the onion though, because you really do, the strongest flavor that comes out is, is onion. So uh, if you don't like onions, you probably wouldn't enjoy this. This is probably one of the better breakfasts I've had. The other ones have been like uh, omelets and pancakes and stuff. This one actually has some flavor to it. It actually is decent. Um, is it the best breakfast uh, microwave meal I've had? By, no, by, not by far is it the best, but it's okay. It's definitely, as part of the meal package, this is one I could actually eat in the mornings, not every morning. I would get so sick of these. But um, once once every so often, I could eat one of these for breakfast and be okay with it. So um, so I'm going to give this one probably, like I said, compared to the other Nutrisystem meals, this would be like a five. Um, but compared to other breakfasts in, in general and just decent meal, um, this is probably going to be like a, still going to be like a three because it's just, it's just an okay meal. So anyway, I'll be back for lunch. All right, for lunch, there is a hamburger. It's a juicy, fully cooked beef patty in a soft whole grain bun. High protein, high fiber. I'm sure there's nothing on it. Uh, 240 calories. 240 calories. Um, there's the other information for you. Where are the cooking directions? It must be under the, under the flat. Sure. Microwave directions. Matter of fact, there's no other directions on here. So, it's really hard to flatten it out. Sorry. So, remove from wrapper. So, we're going to take it completely out. Wrap product in a paper towel and heat on high for one and a half minutes. Heating time is a very, let it sit for a minute and you're ready to go. Do not use conventional oven. So really you're only supposed to microwave this. So you put it on a plate wrapped up in a paper towel for a minute and a half. So let me see what it looks like. I a hard time opening the package. All right, there's what it looks like. Probably a good size patty actually it looks pretty thick so we'll see how much shriveling up it does in the microwave so I'm gonna wrap this up in a paper towel and get it on a plate and I'll be back all right here it is out of the microwave and um, the bun's still pretty soft pretty, still pretty good size hamburger patty I mean it's pretty good pretty thick actually um, but I'm gonna let this cool off the bottom got a little hard but not bad it's just a little firm so I'm gonna let this cool off because it's still hot and I'll be back okay it said just a little time to cool off I really didn't wait very long but here we go It's got a good, um, like, charbroiled, smoky flavor, which I like. I like that a lot. The bun is a little tough. Honestly, um, the top bun is pretty soft, but the bottom bun, it's still edible, but it is it is kind of a chewy, tough um, tough texture. You can see it kind of, it's kind of hard to pull away. It's kind of rubbery. So, um, hold on. Here's what the inside looks like. Um, if you've ever bought like the um, 85, 15 or the 90, 10 hamburger patties, you know how they're very, um, very dense uh, meat. There's not a lot of fat in them. This is the texture that, sh that this reminds you of. It's a very lean hamburger. It doesn't have a lot of fat in it, which is a good thing if you want healthy. Um, but it does make the patty a little denser, a little firmer, more, um, I guess, meaty. 
Um, it's good though. I like this hamburger. It's really actually a pretty good flavor. I love the smoky uh, charbroiled flavor. What I would probably do, if you had some a little slice of a, uh, lettuce, a tomato, or a piece of lettuce, a slice of tomato, maybe a little onion, wouldn't it wouldn't add many calories to it, but it would really add a lot of flavor to it. Um, some ketchup and mustard, for that matter, would be good. I've got some mustard. I'll put some mustard on mine, but that's it. That's all I'm going to put on it. Um, I don't really eat cheese on hamburgers because I don't really think cheese adds a lot except for calories. I don't think it really adds much flavor for me personally. Um, I'm going to give this burger, if you were to buy this burger by itself, I'm going to give it um, probably a four. It's actually a really good burger, and it's small, and it's good calorie-wise, um, and it's got a decent flavor. So I'm going to give the burger a four. I think it's the first thing I've ever given one of these Nutrisystem meals a four before because this, this one's actually pretty good. Um, it's just It reminds you a lot of the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich was really good, too. So, um, so anyway, I'll be back for dinner. All right, it's dinner time, and this is what I'm going to have for dinner. This is the uh, chicken and vegetable stir fry. It's noodles, white meat, chicken, and vegetables in a brown stir fry sauce. Um, high protein. It looks decent. I bet you the chicken doesn't look like that either. Um, 250 calories for the meal. A few other information for you. Not too bad. So, can you do this in the, you can do this in the regular oven. Of course, we're not going to because, well, we got some microwave at work, right? Even though I'm not at work, but that's okay. Uh, remove the tray from the carton and don't have to vent it. Place on high for three minutes. Stir it up, replace the film, and then cook for another minute to a minute and a half. And then enjoy. I thought that was somebody pointing at it up there that cared. Anyway, um, here is the meat. And it doesn't say anything about venting. It does have some chicken in there. There's quite a bit of chicken right there. So uh, just put it just like it is in the microwave for three minutes. Stir it, recover. And then do, I'll probably go ahead and do a minute and a half. We'll see how it looks, but I'll probably do a minute and a half. And then I'll let it cool off and it's ready to go. So I'll be right. All right, here it is out of the microwave. Um, it smells like a really strong, like a, it actually smells like it's a tomato base, like a basil or something like that. Um, that's what it smells, oregano, some, something like you would have in spaghetti sauce. Sorry, that got steamy. Um, it doesn't smell like, when I think stir fry, I think of like Asian and I don't get an Asian smell. Looks like it has a poppy seeds or something there. Anyway, so we'll see. We'll see what it tastes like. But right now I'm getting more of a, an Italian smell than I am an Asian smell. So yeah, I'll let this cool off and I'll be back. All right, that time to cool off. You may hear Guido getting a drink. I don't know if you can or not, but he's drinking water in there like a, like a camel. So just let you know. If you do, just ignore it. So I've got a bite of chicken, uh, whatever these little noodles are right here. Um, there's peppers, there's corn, looks like carrots green stuff. I don't even know what those are. Here we go. All right, whatever these are, definitely has an Asian flavor. I mean, it's um, an Asian feel to it. I don't, I'm assuming it's some kind of vegetable, but it seems like a, an Asian noodle of some kind. I don't, I'm not sure. Hold on, let me see if I can get one by itself. It's hard to get anything by itself in here. Um, they really don't have much flavor. They have an Asian like feel, like the like a crunch to them. Um, this meal actually has quite a bit of flavor to it. It does not have. It does have an Italian seasoning. I thought it was gonna have like a tomatoey, basilly kind of uh, oregano-y kind of flavor, but it does not. Um, but it's it's not really Asian either. So I don't. It really doesn't. I can't identify. It's good. Um, I can't identify the flavors, but it's good. It's got, a, it's got a good spice to it. It's got a good seasoning to it, I should say. It's not spicy like burn your mouth, but it's got a good seasoning to it. Um, it might be a little Asian-esque, but it's not really like soy saucy, you know, sweet and soury. It's not anything like that. It's, it's, it's a good flavor. Um, actually, I like this. It's, it's pretty good, actually. It's got plenty of chicken in there. I mean, quite a few pieces of chicken. Um, it's got a good flavor on the seasoning. Um, the vegetables have a good flavor. There's nothing that's undercooked. It's all cooked well. There's nothing in there like uh, half steamed broccoli or anything like that. There's nothing like that. The carrots are cooked well. So uh, out of this, I'm probably gonna give this one a four. Um, this one's really good. I would definitely eat this one again for a meal. I would buy this buy this one by itself all the time. So, um, so yeah, this is pretty good. So I got one more thing tonight. It's just a dessert. Um, it's a little ice cream uh, bar. So I'll be back uh, when it comes more snacky time uh, tonight, and uh, then I'll catch you then. 
Okay, it's time for the nightly snack. So this is the uh, orange cream bar. It is naturally flavored orange and vanilla low-fat ice cream. Sounds good. It's 90 calories. And this package is the worst. 90 calories, uh, pretty much everything else is pretty low. And there's no cooking directions. Wonder why. Because it's ice cream. Um, so I'm going to hand my phone over. Yeah. Just easier this way. It's a little um, stuck to the package. Come on. Okay. Yeah. It's, kind of makes a mess. Alright. It's much harder than like a traditional ice cream. It's tough. Um, I guess if you let it sit for a minute, it would probably be okay, but right out of the freezer, it's kind of hard. Um, has a good creamsicle flavor, though. Like a um, like the orange dream sickles, the one with the white ice cream and the orange on the outside. It reminds you of that. For a snack, it's not a meal, so it's really hard for me to rate it, but for a snack, um, I think it's pretty good. It's I'm going to give it like for 90 calories, it's not bad, because 90 calories, is, you get quite a bit of ice cream for 90 calories, you see how big it is. Um, I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. It's not the best 90 calorie snack I've ever had, but it is really, really good. It does have a really good orange flavor to it, let's put it that way. And my only complaint is it's a little hard. Not like brick hard, but just like tough, like a leathery kind of, uh, rubbery, marshmallow kind of tough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite the bullet and say a four. So, I'm going to say, overall, let me grab the box, um, this meal, meal number two, has been pretty decent. The omelet was, was the, probably the worst thing in there, uh, but everything else has been really good. The, uh, the burger was good, the stir fry was good, although I still don't think it would taste very um, stir fry -y, but it was okay. And then the ice cream was good. So, overall, this meal has been pretty good. The other two, eh, but this one's been pretty good. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, day-long video of food. And I'll catch you next time.